Well, this repertory, next repertory, is special to me because each piece on it, the four pieces, have a special time as a choreographer for me, all sort of different. And so, um, for La Songs, which is the first piece um, on the program, I always adored the music. I thought it was incredible. I listened to it, I had it on in the car, and so I listened to it and loved it, and I thought no one should ever be stupid enough to choreograph to this gorgeous music. For that first join Houston Ballet, um, a choreographer couldn't suddenly come in, and so we had to do a new ballet. So the board said, well, you know, why don't you do something? So I thought, well, I want to. So I thought, well, I know Four Last Songs very well. So I decided to do Four Last Songs, which is gorgeous, gorgeous music. And I thought this is perfect, because if people don't like the choreography, they can close their eyes and listen to the gorgeous music. But actually, the piece turned out very well, and the dancers enjoy doing it. And, and it, um, I was very pleased with it. And I think people like it because it's, it's reminiscent of the music. It's, it's sad, um, but it's beautiful designs by um, Matthew Jacobs, which is nice. So, c'est la vie. And then after that, we have uh, Twilight. Twilight was the very last piece of choreography I did before I left Houston Ballet. And um, so I, I, it's a pas de deux, uh, romantic, difficult, difficult to do, to keep it looking like nothing, you know, because if it looks like hard work, then it, it, anyone feels they can do it. So it's quite a, quite a difficult piece choreographically for dancers to do. But I think it's nice, and it, what's nice about it is it's a good contrast to the next pas de deux, because there are two pas de deux in the middle of Esmeralda, which is an exciting bravura pas de deux. So you've got the romantic pas de deux, and then it's the exciting sort of fireworks piece coming up afterwards. So they sort of fit, I think, together. The last piece, L, I don't want to say go to L because the thing sounds horrible, doesn't it? But I think that it was done because Liza Minnelli did a benefit for me when the National Valley was closing. She suddenly, someone said, oh, there's a call from Liza Minnelli. So I thought, and one of my students had become her dance captain. And she said, I hear the company's in trouble. Would you like me to do a benefit? And she'd just done cabaret and all that. So she was really a hot ticket, you know. And so I said, well, that's amazing. She said, well, it has to be, I think it was February the 8th because it's the end of our tour. So she did a benefit. So I did this piece, L as a sort of thank you to her. Because I always sort of saw Judy and the boys, and I thought Liza and the boys. So I did this bit for boys, and it's a sort of exciting um, piece. Uh, and um, it has percussion score. So, and we had a percussionist uh, playing, and so that makes it even more exciting because it's so nice to have the live music with it. So you've got those four pieces.